Good evening to all. Uh, this is Carlos Bautista, the director of liturgy at St. Elizabeth Seton Church. And uh, tonight, uh, this evening, we are going to be praying uh, evening prayer. So um, the way that uh, evening prayer works is that um, uh, we are praying with the Psalms. Uh, so in this case, we will be doing three different Psalms, praying with three different Psalms with their antiphons. Uh, and then, uh, um, so this, the purpose of this, uh, uh, prayer is, um, it's also called the prayer of the church. So all the priests, the deacons, the bishops, uh, they are, uh, they make their promises at their ordination to pray the liturgy of the hours every day. The reason for this is because this is the official prayer of the church. We are praying with the church. We're praying for the church and, um, and and before this was uh, exclusively just for the uh, for the priests because this was only made available for priests but now now it is available to us and we are encouraged to pray the liturgy of the hours not just one day or two days but every day and uh, and I know that sometimes it's uh, it's a little hard for all of us uh, who who have other preoccupations um, that occupy us with other things like work uh, children family and uh, that doesn't give us uh, um, enough time to 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 pray the liturgy of the hours but um, if you come across the uh, uh, a copy of the uh, the liturgy of the hours um, and again I'm going to stress there's uh, two different versions of the liturgy of the hours the first one is called Christian prayer and so it's a one volume uh, one volume book and then it says Christian prayer on the front and then the other version of the Liturgy of the Hours is basically the four-volume uh, Liturgy of the Hours that's divided into the different seasons of the liturgical year. So the one that I'm using right now is volume three of four. And this basically covers all of Lent, Holy Week, and Easter. And once Easter is over, I will have to uh, change it to, uh, th uh, the, uh, to another volume. And then depending on the season, uh, another volume. And then we, we just basically just change books depending on the season of the, of the liturgical year. And for those of you who are not familiar, liturgical years are basically Advent, Christmas, Ordinary Time, Easter, Lent. You probably have heard about a... Uh, um, um, us uh, saying it during during the announcements so for example today is the first week of ordinary time uh the 30th week of ordinary time the second week of advent um the third sunday of easter or today is holy thursday so every time we say that we are we are letting you know at what point of the liturgical season we are in and so today uh for the liturgy of the hours we are on wednesday the fourth week of Easter and so today we are going to be praying the uh, the evening prayer for Easter and now uh, I'm going to uh, post a, a a link in the description of this uh, of the uh, of the video where you can uh, click on it and and follow along on your on your on your cell phones on your computer and basically what it is is a digital version of the breviary. When I was in the seminary, uh, the, um, uh, they recommended us, for those of us who didn't have a copy of the Liturgy of the Hours, to use uh, our cell phones to, to, um, to pray the Liturgy of the Hours. And so um, if you have a chance, uh, pick up a copy of the, of the Liturgy of the Hours if you have it at home. Or you can uh, pick up your phone. And then just uh, or your or log on to your computer, and you can just click on the on the on the link, and then that'll take you to um to to a to a page where you can just click on the on the on the hour that um, that we are praying. So in this case, uh, if you log on to to the website, and the website is called iBrevery, it's going to take you to uh, the day uh, the today's date. And it's going to give you the options of morning prayer, evening prayer, and night prayer. And you're going to be clicking on evening prayer on uh, May 6, uh, 2020. And then once you click on evening prayer, it's going to take you to, um, to a page where it's going to show you the hymns. The hymns are different, but once you get to the psalmody where, where, where it's basically labeled as Antiphon 1, so I'm looking at my on my cell phone right here, and I'm going out to the psalmody and antiphon one. Those are going to be the the same uh, antiphons and the and the psalms that we're going to be praying uh, today. And so, and so the way that we begin the liturgy of the hours is by saying, "God, come to my assistance," and we make the sign of the cross, 
and then usually if the, if we were to celebrate with uh, the liturgy of the hours with a congregation uh, the people would respond lord make haste to help me and then the leader would say glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit and then the congregation would say as it was in the beginning it is now and will be forever amen alleluia now the the glory be to the father is different than what we usually say when we pray the rosary in the rosary we say glory to the Fa glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning it is now and ever shall be world without end and in the liturgy of the hours is different is glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning it is now and will be forever amen only in the beginning do we add the word alleluia since we are starting the liturgy of the hours and especially since we are in the easter time and we we like to um, be joyful and happy since uh, we are living in the victory of christ's resurrection and so uh, once once you are ready uh you we we're going to begin uh, our our evening prayer so let us take a moment to calm our hearts Lord God, O oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Antiphon 1. The night will be as clear as day. Alleluia. Psalm 131, verses 1 through 18 and 23 to 24. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you beseech me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me, this knowledge too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Oh, where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me to your right hand, would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. Antiphon. Oh, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon. The night will be as clear as day. Alleluia. Antiphon 2. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you know my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. Antiphon 3. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. Canticle. Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 through 20. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption 
the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon his glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. And now we will be doing a reading. And today, uh, this evening's reading will come from Hebrews, uh, the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 7, verses 24 through 27. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then those for the, of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. Responsory The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. Canticle of Mary, Antiphon God sent his Son into the world, not as its judge, but as its Savior, Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon God sent his Son into the world, not as its judge, but as its Savior. Alleluia. Intercessions In his Son, risen from the dead, God has opened for us the way to everlasting life. Let us ask the Father, through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. God of our fathers, you raised your son Jesus from the dead and clothed him in glory. Move our hearts to complete repentance, that we may walk in newness of life. You have led us back to the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Keep us faithful under the guidance of the shepherds of the church. You chose the first fruits of Christ's disciples from the Jewish people. Reveal to the children of Israel the fulfillment of the promises you made to their forefathers. Remember the lonely, the orphaned, and the widowed. Do not abandon those who have been reconciled with you by the death of your son. You called Stephen to your presence when he bore witness to Jesus standing at your right hand. Welcome our deceased brothers and sisters who in faith and love hoped for the vision of your glory. 
And at this moment, I would like to invite you to, to offer your own intentions to the Father. And now together, let us say the words that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, happiness of the just, hear our prayer. Fill our emptiness with the blessing of the Eucharist, the foretaste of eternal joy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now let us conclude by saying, May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. So that was evening prayer, my friends, brothers and sisters. Um, so the so the way that uh, that the the liturgy of the hours works is that uh, we would pray morning prayer in like around seven eight o'clock in the morning around that time, and then we will do evening prayer like around six five o'clock like before dinner time or after dinner time wherever you however you like and then night prayers uh right before you you uh one goes to bed so that's how usually the the liturgy of the hours works and as a seminarian myself um uh in in when i was in college uh we would we would pray the liturgy of the hours and the reason for that is for for us to to train ourselves to get used to the liturgy of the hours because as priests we would eventually have to do that um uh by law as uh, actually by our promises that we made in the in our ordination um and so so that's what the liturgy of the hours is and us as as lay people uh, we are encouraged to pray the liturgy of the hours every day as best as as best as we can and now you have uh, access to the liturgy of the hours to uh through your phone through your computer through your ipad etc and uh and, and so i encourage everybody to 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 pray the liturgy of the hours as best as you can and so uh and so what uh the liturgy of the hours that we did we did it uh spoken and then in the near future uh i will i will try my best to actually uh use this book right here that i have and it's called the mandalain psalter what the mandalain psalter is is uh the all-in-one volume of the liturgy of the hours but uh it's to 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 chant the liturgy of the hours so um hopefully um if you if you would like one day i can uh, i can try to chant the liturgy of the hours one day uh in the near future um just so that um uh we can uh, we can try uh praying the liturgy of the hours something different us uh, um in, in a different way and in, in a very special way that'll be it for today uh my friends um god bless everybody continue to take care of yourselves and God willing, one day we will return back to our home at the parish. God bless.